Chris. Now you're, you're taking the flour and spreading it out. Now you're gonna do that, put that, that flour down for every pizza? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna add to it. Um, you know, it'll, it'll take away for with each pizza. So, I mean, I've got 15 minutes, so I'm not gonna completely assemble this one just yet, because I wanna, you don't wanna have it sit on the peel for too long, because if you have wet ingredients and they seep through, then it's gonna stick on there, and it, and then it's all about the slide. You want this, you want that pizza to sit there and just be able to move around on there. So you have a wood peel and two metal peels. I do, I do. And why, why, why use wood right now, not metal? I don't know. This is a bamboo. Bamboo. And, uh, but I don't know why. You just want something that'll. So let me show you the other trick is. Uh, I want all the tricks, all the tricks. Let's get the tricks out. All the tricks. If we go home and we don't know the tricks, we're gonna, we're gonna blow it. I got cornmeal. Cornmeal, that's a trick. But the best trick that I learned online is, uh, is um, rice flour. Because oh, it doesn't burn nice. on these, these high temperatures. Rice flour. And it's kind of a coarse grind. Hold that bag open up for me. It's fair own. Arena de arroz, rice flour, okay. And where'd you, where'd you buy something like that? Uh, I think it was just a, a market. Um, I don't know if it, was, if it was like a regular grocery store or if it was a specialty. So it's kind of granular, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a fine grind. It's, I don't know, it's, because then you have the, it seems a little bit granular. And then you have the cornmeal. Cornmeal. Which I'll throw on there too, but... Um, Is that going to change the flavor at all? I think it does. Christine seems to like the cornmeal. But the, the rice flour doesn't really impart a flavor, but it doesn't burn so much in the oven. It doesn't oven. burn, okay. Because when, sometimes when it burns, you kind of get this metallic taste. Like, if, you know, uh, if you use flour on there, and and then you slide it in the oven, that flour will light up uh, inside the oven. Huh. And then it kind of burns the, the other side of the pizza. Well, these are the secrets. So you want to you have a bunch of ball bearings, basically, sitting on this. Oh. So, the, so the dough is going to be able to slide. Oh, and they're like temperature resistant, or they're heat resistant. Yeah. Ball bearings. They won't flare up like flour, like, like wheat flour. Oh my god, I'm zoomed the whole time. But that is uh so this is a silicone mat, Amazon like twelve bucks. Um, but I mean you could just you could use this and put a lot of flour in it. Just on kind of a mess. Yeah, it's easy easier for cleanup. So what I this is a dough that I started yesterday. Sourdough? Sourdough. And so I just have a, a silicone. Randy, Randy needs rescuing. He, yeah, he, he sounds urgent. Maybe he wants to just no, say like hi. Cats. Okay. Yeah, we like cats. You don't have to put them away for us. We were wondering if just coming and going, like some of us will try to sneak oh, out. Oh, he might Randy. sneak out. Because he's an indoor cat. Randy. But uh, he might be in our room. We'll have to just be careful when you open the door. So this has some good life to it, you know, bubbling. Mm -hmm. um, so what I like to do is just kind of push on the sides and then just make it a, a good circle. Mm -hmm. No rolling pins. You want to do it, do it with your hands and. Um, And then once I get it up to a certain size, I oh, start to <laughs> kind of stretch it with my, my hand and then using the back of my hand to stretch it as well. Yeah. No rolling pins. No rolling pins. And so I'm just, so I mean, you can do some throwing if you want, but you don't really need to. But it's got a good window it's pane. Good. I mean, it's, it's not tearing, which is good, but you know, it's very, Pliant, you know, it's, it's a good, it's 
I think something about the, the high protein gives you that. And so there we are. Ready to, Beautiful. Ready to throw it together. Okay. So this Look, one. Looking for this. So that's Trader Giotto's. Trader Joe's fat free pizza sauce. Do they, do they call it Giotto's? Giotto's. Oh, I. The. Um, there, there was a bit of a brouhaha because they were calling it these um, names for each region or for nationality, you know, because it's Trader Joe. Yeah. But, you know, like some of the Mexican things, they say Trader Jose and then the Italian Trader Joe Toast. And some people were saying that wasn't a, a PC thing to do. And so they were going to relabel everything, but I guess they didn't. Mm. I mean, I like it, you know, it's kind of a fun yeah. thing. I think it's pretty fun. Okay, so we'll do a simple. Do you, do you have anything cut for me, Christine? Yeah, in those little balls. Those onions. She's been busy. She has. And we appreciate it. So, this is just white onions or yellow onions? Yeah. White? I think, I think, I yellow. think they're yellow. Yeah. Yellow. Does everybody eat cheese or does. People like cheese. Or? Well, I like cheese. I like cheese. Yeah. We eat cheese. So this is uh, Romano cheese. Oh, very nice. And this is mozzarella. You slide, did you shred it yourself? I did with the food processor. So, um, so I like to. This one I'm going to do as a white pizza. Is that okay? Let's start with the white pizza. So I, I do a I do mozzarella first. Yeah. If we're gonna do, you know, we'll do sauce on other ones. And so usually I'll start with sauce, but I think we have been doing just white pizzas, just with cheese and then the toppings. No, oh, I see. It's a preference thing. Yeah. She knows the same thing every time. Sometimes I like to saute the onions in advance with an olive oil. Sure. And then to put them on that. You know, that's, but these things will, these, these things will cook right up in the oven. Two, two three minutes? Yeah. Green onions? Yeah, I mean, green pepper, sorry. Green onions. Hello. I'm just gonna top it up. Uh, oh. Mushrooms. Get the mushrooms yeah, pretty sliced, huh? Maybe everybody with a lot of mushrooms. Hey, Raymond. I don't know exactly. That's an idea. How about you? I'll do half. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, mushrooms are fine. And then, and then the hard cheeses, like a Romano, I like to do on top just to. Yeah. You got two cheeses, you got mozzarella and Romano. And then we're ready to put it in. All right. Uh, so we'll follow you out to the, to the uni. And he has his balls? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got in there in front. 339, that's still low. 789. Wow. Now we're getting there. 826. Wow. 775. 825. It's not, not all the way up there, but it'll, it'll still make a pie. It'll, it'll, it'll. It, yeah, it'll, it'll work. It'll work at 8.25. So now I'm going to turn it down just so I don't char the top. Yeah, now how, how um, you said you, you know where to turn it down to? But by so this, you see that dot there? Yeah. That's about as low as I want to go. But it's still, the flame's still going. And that's just nail polish that I threw on there. Just yeah. As a, as a guide. Okay, so. I, get, I got the charm. This is a trick too, is when, 
when you're putting it in, you don't want this thing to, to get stuck there because then it's just going to be a traffic jam and it's just going to all bunch together uh, okay. and be a mess, be a calzone. So first thing you want to do is you want to do a little shake just to make sure the thing is going to... Is, is On the ball bearings. Yeah. The rice flour, uh, rice flour in the... Can you see that? It's, it's doing it. Cornmeal. It is. It's shaking. It's sliding around. So then I'm going to go in here and then just shake it into the Make oven. sure it gets on there and it's in there. I see a little bit of smoke coming out. What's the smoke? Is that just... It might have been something, might be some of the flour. And you also listen to the uh, the crackle. Yeah, so you're listening to it. If it, um, if it. if it gets like a really strong crackle, it's not good. It's something burning. And you're also looking for smoke, but no smoke, no smoke, a little smoke. My bad. That might be a cornmeal that coming off there. Okay, so we're up to about what 45 seconds here. And you have you have time it? Do you time it or you just watch it? Yes, just, just watch it. So one thing I'm watching is the front of the pizza, the line of it. Um, it, it kind of starts to lift off. Yeah. And that's when I know when it's time to start to turn it. Sometimes it'll just grab, it'll be too too wet and you can't do that, but this looks good. And so I just, oh boy. It's not good. Is it too, a little bit too soft? Oh, look at there. It's kind of brown and dark on the back side. On the 800 degree side, it's uh, already brown and dark, huh? Yeah. Is that typical? You're going to have different thinnesses around, around the around the different uh, perimeter of the pizza. Well, so I'm going to keep I'm going to rotate it a couple more times. Yeah. And and hopefully it won't be that way all the way around. But um, but I mean that's that's a pretty good char for me. But it is it is a little bit too cool. I think I need to let that oven get hotter. Huh. It was, it was going 15 minutes. Is that not long enough? I guess not. Was it too much wind? I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, at 800 degrees, that's that's a little too low. But in the front, it was too too cool. Yeah. But I just was trying to take a chance on it and see what it'll do. It should be, it should be pretty good. Oh, there we go. Start to look like a pizza. Yeah, so then I do a quarter turn. Yeah. And I gotta try out this guy too. I haven't tried it out yet. Oh, that's new, huh? Yeah. I see a lot of on the video I watched. Uh, people were using that that little round one a lot, and there's like boom, boom, but you're moving it around. It's kind of I don't know how hot the rubber was, but they moved it quite a bit. I mean, that crackle sound that sounds like it's burning a little bit too much. So I had a look. Not bad though. No, it didn't look bad at all. Yeah, I don't know like what the uh, what the technique is there for that. Do you want to get a black on the bottom or dark on the bottom? Dark on the bottom, or anyway, flex on the bottom. So if we, uh, it's got some good flex, you know, some dark areas and char. Yeah. But in the center, it's it's not it's brown as I want it to be. Because so. overall, it's not hot enough, really. You'd like it to have it a little bit hotter? Yeah, I think it needs to be hotter. It's not going to be raw by any means, but... But that last one, that was just like, you know, I don't know, 15 seconds or something, and I had to pull it out. Yeah. You don't want to go too long with it. So I think we're... Okay, so that's pizza number one. So then I turn it back up. I want, I want it to go really... Turn it all the way back up? As high as I can go. Full, yeah. you're full, it's fully up, okay. And then what's your expectation now for the next timing, for the next one? Come back up in three minutes, five minutes? Or just as soon as you can get a piece of front together? Well, in that, in this one I want to wait a little bit longer because I don't like that. Uh, I mean, it's 400 in the front, 500 in the back, 7, 720 in the back. I want it to be up at 1,000. Why do you think it's not getting ridiculous? I think I just need to be Time. Okay. More time. Jump the gun. All right. Very nice. You want to carry that in? Take a look at that bud. That's beautiful. Beautiful. 